Hello traders, welcome to the daily technical forex forecast for the 25th of October. My name is Andrew Shadesky, I am a technical analyst at Triumph FX and as usual we start our forecast with the euro USD currency pair. As predicted the price continued falling and brought down the previous level of support. Moreover the breakdown movement was supported by the large volume which is a great bearish signal. So given all these factors we should give advantage to short positions. We can enter the market after a smooth upward correction of the price in order to obtain a more profitable entry point. A stop loss should be placed above the breakdown volume bar and the potential of the deal is around 120 pips. So with the euro, short positions after a smooth correction of the price up. The pound. The same situation here, the price demonstrated an abrupt drop and brought down the previous level of support, which is a great bearish signal. Unfortunately, the breakdown movement was on the medium volume, therefore we can't point out any new volume level as on. Nevertheless, we still should give preference to short positions. We can enter the market after a smooth correction of the price up in order to get a more profitable entry point. A stop loss should be located above the beginning of the breakdown movement and a potential of the deal is around 120, 130 pips. So with the pound, short positions after a smooth upward correction of the price. The yen, the price fell down sharply, but the fall was on the average volume, therefore we can't point out any new volume level as on. Moreover, the price is located within the local range between the level of support 111.74 and the level of resistance 112.76, 112.89. Hence, the best solution with the yen is just to wait for a sure exit of the price from the range. The, break the breakout movement must be supported by the large volume, which will show us against the false breakout and will be a more precise signal for entering the market. Until then, while the pair is located inside this range, we should omit this instrument from our trading plan. The Canadian dollar. The pair demonstrated an abrupt fall yesterday and now is located in the middle of the local range between the level of support 1.2910 and the level of resistance 1.3121. Therefore, we can regard new positions here only after the confident and sharp breakout of one of these levels and the exit of the price from the range. Moreover, the breakout movement must be supported by the large volume, which will be a more precise and secure signal for entering the market. While the pair is locked inside this range, we should skip this instrument from our trading plan. The Australian dollar. The pair resumed falling and tested the level of support 0 0.7058. The price failed to break it down, nevertheless, it is trading near this level, therefore we can and should consider a scenario for its breakdown, which will be a great signal for opening short positions. The breakdown movement must be keen and supported by the large volume, which will show us against the fake breakdown. A stop loss should be placed above the breakdown volume bar and a potential of the deal is more than 80 pips. So with the Australian dollar, sales after the sure breakdown of the level of support. And our last instrument for today is gold. The price grew up strongly yesterday and now is testing the level of resistance, the local maximum 1239.00. Thus, we can and should consider a scenario for its breakout, which will be a great bullish signal. The breakout movement must be abrupt, confident and supported by the large volume. A stop should be located under the breakout volume bar and a potential of the deal is more than 150 pips. So with gold, long positions after the confident and keen breakout of the level of resistance. Let's take a look at the sentiment of the market. This indicator totally affirms our scenario with the euro, the pound and the Australian dollar. Situation with gold is 50-50, therefore we should wait for the appearance of strong confirmation signal. Nevertheless, Given the technical factors, we still should give preference to long positions. As with the yen and the Canadian dollar, it is necessary to wait for a sure exit of prices from ranges and only after that we can regard new positions.
For today, it's all. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this forecast will be useful for you. Subscribe to our channel to stay in touch with the latest researches. Take care. Bye-bye.